Now, the reason that's so bad is if we go into our after treatment system and we're looking at DOC temperatures, DPF temperatures, and so on and so forth, um, this can, can mislead us into a false diagnosis of a bad catalyst while we're running a region. Hi, I'm Mark with Diesel Train. Today I'm going to be going over a cold set. This is a quick, fast little test to get a good baseline for all of our temp and pressure sensor data. First, we're going to have to hook up a diagnostic tool to our vehicle, turn our ignition on, and we want to make sure that this vehicle is in an ambient temperature. Next, we want to come over to our software. I already have it opened up, and we're going to go into our temperature and pressure data. Now, from this data list, you can see all of our other sensors are reading around 60 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's pretty safe, safe to say it's 60 degrees inside the shop. It should be very evident that this temp sensor here for our ambient air temperature is reading about 112 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that's obviously not correct. Now this can have a, a major effect on our air fuel ratios which can affect everything else in our system. It can cause it to burn rich in certain conditions, it can cause it to burn lean, uh, and this is not always going to necessarily generate a fault code. Now the reason that's so bad is if we go into our after treatment system and we're looking at DOC temperatures, DPF temperatures, and so on and so forth, um, this can, can mislead us into a false diagnosis of a bad catalyst while we're running a region. So another thing that we can do is we can scroll down our pressure list and make sure there's nothing that sticks out at us like a sore thumb. We want to make sure things like our barometric pressure sensor is reading around 14.6 psi. We want to make sure that our differential pressure sensor is reading around 0 psi. We can't really get a good accurate reading of our fuel pressures just yet. We'll come to that with our warm soak video. So if you like this video and it was helpful for you, make sure to hit the like button. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to us. And we'd love to have you engage with us in the comment section. Thank you very much.